as home values rocket upwards, affordability weakens. But homes are still not too far out of reach for most buyers because of the low mortgage rates. Welcome to a new series that I'm calling Keeping It Real Estate. Let's go. Manuel Sanchez here. Thanks for tuning in to episode one of Keeping It Real Estate. So let's start by going back, like we always do, this time back to 1980, where a new car cost around $7,000. A gallon of gas was $1.19. If you wanna to go to the movies, well, that was $2.25 for a ticket, 91 cents for a dozen eggs, and $2 for a gallon of milk. I mean, come on. Living back in 1980 was cheap. Reminiscing and longing for the good old days leaves out a very important and often overlooked difference. Income. The San Diego median household income in 1980 was $18,000. That's just a drop in the bucket compared to today's $88,000 level. It boils down to perspective. Looking only at housing prices tells one part of the story. It is important to also consider household incomes and the prevailing mortgage rates. Naysayers are quick to point out how the median sales price was much lower back in prior years. However, taking into consideration both the median income and the average 30 year mortgage rate illustrates how buyers can afford just so much more today. The historically low mortgage rate environment has stoked today's insatiable demand and allowed housing to soar over the past year, shoot, over the past months, it's just been climbing upwards and upwards. But to understand where this heightened demand is coming from, it is necessary to consider where interest rates and income have historically been and their impact on affordability. This chart highlights how higher interest rates limit the price of a home that a buyer can afford. In 1980, the average interest rate was 13.75%. That's crazy. That's crazy in today's world. The median income back then was $18,000, like I said, and the median home sale was $94,000. I mean, imagine buying a house today for $94,000. That meant that the monthly housing payment was 60% of a homeowner's income. That's more than half of your paycheck going towards the mortgage. It was 57% in 2007, just prior to the start of the Great Recession, and dropped to 28% in 2012 as housing began to climb once again. Flash forward to today's 3% mortgage rate, $88,000 median income, and record-setting April median sales price of $825,000, and the housing payment is only 38% of a homeowner's monthly paycheck. So with mortgage rates reaching record lows since the start of the pandemic, which dropped the monthly payment substantially, that meant that a much smaller slice of a homeowner's monthly paycheck went to paying the mortgage. It dropped to 34% last year, prompting this whole buyer demand to escalate. Affordability now stands at 38% but it has climbed to much higher levels in the past. In retrospect, today's level is not yet concerning. Bottom line is, considering today's ultra low mortgage rate and rising household income, housing is still quite affordable. I know you hear otherwise in the news, but I feel that there is not enough emphasis on the importance of looking at the monthly payment of a home and the impact on a, buy on a buyer's budget. Instead, there's way too much weight placed on where prices stand today. It is important, however, to note that when interest rates do rise down the road, that it will impact affordability considerably. So just something to keep in mind. Thanks for watching.